was the last time you dilly-dallied, meandered, or dawdled? When was the last time you found yourself with a free afternoon and nothing on your agenda? When was the last time you let yourself lay in the grass and daydream? Or just spent a few moments doing nothing? The words dilly-dally, dawdle, and meander are often referred to as being a negative thing. To dawdle is to waste time. To dilly-dally is to be lazy. To meander is to be unmotivated. And while dilly-dallying might not always be appropriate, Stopping to smell the metaphorical, or even real, roses can be good for the mind and body. And to me, there's no better time of year to practice some dilly-dallying than in the summer. The long, hot days are nature's way of reminding us to slow down. Our lives are so busy that it can be incredibly difficult to find even a small pocket of time to dilly-dally. We're always on autopilot, rushing about from one place to the next, tuning out the world around us because there's just no time to take it in. If we are lucky enough to be able to pause and be still, our brains immediately start screaming at us that we're wasting time. We must be productive. We must be always doing. And this is exactly why an afternoon, an hour, or even just a few minutes of dilly-dallying is important. It gives our minds space to breathe. When you slow down and allow your mind to wander aimlessly, it's amazing what comes through. Solutions to problems you've been agonizing over suddenly become clear. Inspiration or creative ideas present themselves effortlessly. We begin to notice the simple joys and beauty in the world around us. A good hour or two of dilly-dallying can awaken the inner child that we bury deep within. The one that likes to explore, skip stones, and marvel at the wonders all around them.
Embracing the art of dilly-dallying is really quite simple. You don't need anything other than an open mind and a little curiosity. The most important thing is to be open, to let go of expectations and judgment. And remember, you are not wasting time. Allow yourself to be open to whatever comes your way. So next time you find yourself with even five minutes of unexpected time, use it for a little dilly-dallying and see what happens.